How in the fuck <laughs> did that come with the lyrics to this fucking song? Hey, Peter! Peter! Earth to Pete! Wanna play some football? Ah, yeah, football's for wimps. I'm listening to a real hero. Who's that? Fang Moskowitz. The punk rocker? Yeah. Anyone who can sing Baby Punch My Face in front of those fans is some kind of brave. This cartoon, The Real Ghostbusters, I saw this episode sometime in the late summer or early fall of 1990 when I worked at the Kinsley Pizza and was so in love with Sissy Teresa Cooper. Ten years later, I remember this. And I heard a tune in my head. Baby, punch my face, punch my face, I'm a basket case. Now where the fuck did I come up with the basket case? Sissy had first waited on me and my cousin, March the 17th, 1990. <clears throat> that girl thought you were cute. My cousin told me as he was driving me home that night. July 17th, 1990, after incredible persistence, I finally got a job at Pizza for the sole purpose of working with this girl with whom I immediately fell in love with her. and she really really went out of her way to talk to me to be my friend which made me feel really good all I wanted from her was to, for the her for her and I to be best friends and for her to think I was a good looking guy Sissy loved nothing more than to be our waiter she would grab us up whether it was just me or just Paul or both of us she would grab us up one night in December I think her and her boyfriend had had a terrible fight and she he had broken up with her well me and my cousin came to see me and I was hoping sister would wait on us and she came over to us and said I'm not gonna be able to wait on you to tonight my boyfriend and I we broke up and I'm a basket case who knew ten years later I would use these ordinary events to write, write a fucking hit song. Anyone who can sing Baby Punch My Face in front of those fans is some kind of brave. So there you have it. I didn't plagiarize shit. I didn't rip off shit. <laughs>